Hey what's up guys, today I'm going to unbox the Gears War 3 limited edition As some of you will know, I'm a big Gears of War fan And this one um, comes with, as you can see already, an Octus medal Which is the medal of the highest honor which a civilian can receive in Gears of War As you can see already, the outside looks really really nice, it's really really soft material When you open it, um, the first thing you will see is as you can see the flag of the coalition of ordered governments in this flag the the rest are the rest of the collectibles which i will open in a second um let me unfold it and as you can see already the documents for the optus metal of course and there will be a lot a lot of little things in here one of the items that was in the flag which was folded in there is a letter from Adam Phoenix to his son Marcus Phoenix after the assault on Ashbow Field. The Battle of Ashbow Field is one of the most important battles in the Gears War universe because it ended the Pendulum Wars which was an 80 year long war between the UIR, the United Independent Republics and the Coalition of Ordered Governments or the Corps. If you have read the letter and have a lot of questions of course you can always ask them to me but another thing you can do is read the books because they contain all the lore and you will understand everything that's in this letter and it will give so much more value to the story in the games the story in this letter and in the more of the collectibles that I will show you later and in the Gears of War universe in general okay the next thing is the document which you receive when you earn an Octus medal from the chairman of the coalition of all the governments as you can see on the top it has beautifully the logo of the coalition of all governments and I need it, it says the Octus Mill is hereby awarded to and then it says the name of who in this case Professor Adam Phoenix and then it says why you have received the Octus Mill and for Adam Phoenix is in recognition of his outstanding contribution to the ending of a global conflict and securing peace for all of Sarah needed is a signature from the chairman of the coalition of all governments and the date on which it was signed of course okay let me show you now the Octus Mill let me get it out of the box it's put in here with magnets this lock here so you can just pull it open and just take the giant gear out okay let me show the close in a photo okay here you see the metal as you can see it says dr adam phoenix of course the name is put into the metal and then for the service to humanity okay let me also show the back of the metal because it's quite special as you can see it says property of the coalition of ordered governments and beneath it is a special code for a dlc only available through the limited or the epic edition from gears of war 3 which is obviously a character skin up next are two photos one of which is when he, adam phoenix receives the octopus medal and one of them was when adam phoenix was still in the military himself Okay, the next thing is the last will of Adam Phoenix, which he wrote when Marcus Phoenix was still a little boy, of course. Some of the things in his last will are very, very nice to see. Uh, as for example, he appoints Eduardo and Eva Santiago as his guardians. For those wondering who Eduardo and Eva are, they are the parents of Dominic Santiago, or Dom, as he is called in the games. Okay, the next thing is the Hammer of Dawn. As you can see, it's a schematic of the Hammer of Dawn. Um, which is a satellite which can fire a laser to scorch the earth or Sarah in their case um, of course this was obtained during the battle of Aspo Field and this is why the war stopped because the coalition of ordered governments stole this technology from the UIR um, and with this technology they could just wipe them off the map if they wanted to now we're going to ask thing that is in here which is the game and in the game case there are of course some things which I will show you as well. As you can see the game looks like the data disk in Gears of War 3 which uh, Marcus Phoenix receives from Adam Phoenix. As you can see the game is in there with the manual like you did back in the old days. Um, a code for Xbox Live as always with most of the Gears games. And the stickers which come for the standard, um, standardly with Gears of War 3 which is very very nice they are transparent not like the new stickers for Gears of War 4 they weren't transparent which is very annoying 
but with these transparent stickers you can do a lot of fun stuff for example i've got a hard drive and it's um, covered with the same stickers the same three stickers as you can see here so it looks like a gears of war hard drive so that's pretty much everything in the gears of war 3 limited edition um, they're still available you can still buy them around and i really really recommend it if you're a gears of war fan to get this edition because it's very very nice to have I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.